Aries, Taurus, Gemini, and Cancer. Check out Sexy Tarot. She has the answer. Leo, Virgo, Libra, and Scorpio. Are the viewers waiting to watch Sexy Tarot? To the Terriers, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces. Well, hello, Taurus, and welcome to Sexy Tarot. Taurus, this will be your edition of Sexy Hair is the Scoop. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you would like to be notified when I go live. Taurus, as a friendly reminder, we all have male and female energies within us. Although you see genders in the cards, keep in mind their energies. Taurus, as I'm progressing through the reading, if you find the energy resonates more with the cross watcher, feel free to swap the energies. Energies are fluid. Taurus, as I'm progressing through the reading, if you find the reading does not resonate with you at all, I strongly encourage you to check out the readings for your rising, Venus, and moon placements. There's a link to a free nature chart on the about page of my YouTube ch channel. All right, Taurus, I pray you all well. Thank you for joining me. This is intended to be a general reading. There will be an extended to this reading. You can find the link to your extended reading in the description box below, whether you are a member or a non-member. So let's get into it. Taurus, I want to cry. Whoa, there you go, Taurus, with Aries and Scorpio's energy. So there was a shock and revelation about something you committed to, okay? This is something you're putting time, energy, effort, possibly even your money into. But it was a shock and revelation, okay? Maybe you were shocked or you shocked someone. One good shuffle for the Taurus. Spirit, what is it that Taurus needs to know right now? What is it that Taurus needs to know? I don't know why she just gets to talk. Taurus, you have the Queen of Wands. You have the Knight of Pentacles. You have the Eight of Wands. You have the Star in the world. Taurus, so I see you want to take some action towards something. I mean, you feel confident about it. You took your time. But now I feel like you want to express something to someone, okay? Um, you may be, uh, like, um, diligent. I'm going to say you may be diligent. Um, and I feel like you're hopeful to just finalize whatever this is. You just want to finalize it, okay? This may involve travel. The signs that I have on the table are Aries, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Aquarius, Scorpio, and Leo. At the bottom of the deck, Taurus, the reason for your reading is death, death. Some of them with Scorpio, but Taurus, that's what I'm saying. It seems like you just want to finalize something, right? So maybe you're going through a transformation or you're ending something to begin something new, but I see you trying to finalize something. At the bottom of the deck, we have the King of Cups and the Three of Cups. Some of you done with a Scorpio. Taurus, um, I feel like you want to reunite with someone. I feel like we have a lot of feelings for whoever this is. You may be feeling rejected at this time, okay? And with the Queen of Pentacles, some of you are done with a Capricorn. I feel like, you know, you, you either this person supports you or you want to offer your support in some kind of way, okay? There's a mother and nurturing energy here. And you may be wondering, like, do they still love me? Somebody's hiding their feelings about some get-together or some friend group, okay? You have the Two of Wands and the King of Wands. So I see you planning to take some sort of action quickly, okay, Taurus? It looks like, it looks like, um, but you confused about it. 
It's like you rush in, okay, and you like, you know what? You start thinking, when is the, I feel like I want to say, when is the best time for you to take this action? See, because it's like, you're thinking like, what if they don't want to talk to me? You know, because somebody could be holding back from you, okay? That's what I mean. What if they don't want to talk to me? What if they don't want to meet up with me? You might feel like they're holding back from you and you may want to hold on to them. Or you're holding back from them and they want to hold on to you. So put the energy where it belongs. Taurus, you have the king of queen of wands. Queen of wands. So we saw the king of wands. So there's a divine counterpart here. So this is Aries energy. All right, so this is a highly intuitive feminine energy. It may be you. you don't have to be a female. It's just a feminine energy. So this is a confident person, a go-getter, okay? And they're very happy. And um, But I feel, I don't know if this is you. I, I doubt it. I'm sorry. I doubt it. Tell me about the Queen of Wands. Yeah, like, yeah. At the bottom of the deck, you have patience and relationships, okay? I feel like this is someone you were attracted to. This is somebody you have some time in with. But, you know, you have to take it slow, or you took it slow with this particular connection. I do feel like there is a lot of love here, Taurus. I do. I feel like you love whoever this is. I feel like all you see is the problems, though. You have stinking thinking. You like, every time I think about this person, it just becomes challenging, okay? Or you might feel alone without this person, and that's the challenge. You might be like, damn, without them, I, I just, I feel alone. And any, you know, we want, we want to get real deep in the extended. Taurus, this queen of wands, this person is very happy. They go after their happiness. Like, this is no slowing this person down. They know what they want. They're confident. And their intuition actually acts as their GPS system. It's like, um, this person, um, feels like anything that's not making them happy is not the right path for them. Why is happiness here for Taurus, this person? I'm sorry for Taurus. Why is happiness here? I just don't feel like this you. I apologize. I just don't. Why is happiness here? This is the, okay, you have the chariot, the chariot. Okay, um, somebody's charging in here with confidence. Some of y'all done with a cancer. Like, this person is strong and focused. And again, it could be you. But this is somebody that's strong and focused. And then all they see is their happiness. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, you have thorns and fools. I feel like there was some risk you took that caused a lot of pain here, okay? I feel like um, you do want, it, it would make you happy to reconnect or renew this connection or renew whatever this is, okay? With the moon <clears throat> and celebrations, I feel like this is somebody that um, you were secretly hooking up with secretly having a good time with but you need to listen to your intuition okay i feel like um you want to protect this connection or this person provided you some sort of protection but it's something you're not seeing here you really love whoever this is could be a scorpio and i see you do want to rekindle it but they could have got angry at you about something or you were angry at them about something so let's see why the chariot here and this is the last card i'm putting out and then we'll head to the extended after I go through the rest, okay? So, this person, and I'm sorry because it don't feel like it's you. I feel like you're the Knight of Pentacles down here. Um, so, this person is happy. They're confident. And they charge in the head towards their happiness. Um, this is a winner. Tell me about the chariot for the Queen of Wands. Why is the chariot here? I knew this person was um, intuitive because... This is somebody that's just like, hold on, because I forgot to leave cards out for this. I'm tripping. All right, there you go. At the bottom of the deck, you have soul mace and dice. It's, it was some risk you took. It was some risk you took with this connection. 
that caused you to get ghosted or it was some risk you took in this connection and you ghosted or disappeared. Somebody did a sudden disappearing act, okay? And see, here go these thorns again. It's like somebody want answers or you want answers about some pain. I feel like um, you traveled towards whatever this was and it, out of nowhere it was a shock and change that caused these, caused these obstacles and challenges here, okay? So... This queen of wands, I feel like this is the person that's um, moving towards their happiness. And for whatever reason you need to know about this person, maybe they're on your mind. But this person is really cold right now. They're really cold in their feelings. And I feel like they feel as though it's something you did. Okay? It's something you did. I'm not accusing you. I'm just speaking from this person's perspective. Because I'm telling you this ain't true. Um... It's like somebody, you know, they, they're moving towards their happiness, okay? And they're turning their back on this because they feel like either you were cold to them or now they're cold to you or it's both, okay? So it's like the um, this person feels like to have a connection with you, um, the love is blocked, okay? They feel like um, being in a connection with you is, is like um, it's going nowhere, it's frozen, Okay, this person has a lot of emotions, but they bury deep within Taurus. Again, with the higher power, this is a highly intuitive person. And their intuition is saying that they're supposed to go cold on you. Okay, um, they, they feel like they need to do this for their highest good. You know, this is what's best for them. This is somebody that is very connected to spirit, okay, a spiritual person. And with a phoenix, some of you dealing with a Scorpio, this person, when it comes to rekindling this connection and bringing it back to life, they're like, no, um, it's like they changed or something happened that changed this connection over time with the will. And in the extended, I'm going to dive deep into these energies and we're going to get very specific. Taurus, you're the Knight of Pentacles here. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, energy. So I feel like something has stopped or something took a very long time in relation to discipline, discipline, okay? So maybe you stopped being disciplined, okay? Or maybe, um, you know, maybe it took you a long time to accomplish something that you were thinking about. And what angel, your angels are guiding and protecting you on your spiritual journey, it's like, I feel like your angels are telling you that you need to be more disciplined and slow down, okay, with the world. Because that's what we're closing out with, with the world. Um, you might need to be disciplined in your travel. You you might uh, need to be disciplined if you want to uh, complete some milestone. If you want success, maybe it's taking you a long time to get success. It's like, um, you. it, it feels like something, something is at the end. And it's for your protection. It's for everyone's protection. This is, it's at the end of, the, of, of this journey. And in the extended, again, I'm going, going to dive deeper into very specific. Taurus, so you have the eight of wands, the eight of wands. I feel like there was um, an argument here. There was a lot of communication going back and forth, okay? And you could be worried about this communication, or maybe you were intimate with somebody, and you were, you were worried about this, okay? But the worrying is not going to change the outcome. Because with judgment, judgment, some of you are dealing with a Scorpio, I feel like that based off of some communication or some fast-moving action, is <clears throat> it caused some worry, okay? And this worry um, caused someone to make a decision, like, um, or you, someone did some soul-searching to bring in a peace in their life. And with luck, it's like some good fortune is coming into you very quickly, Taurus. But you worried about this. You worry, like, am I going to get this? Are we going to reconnect? How long is it going to take to have a positive change? How long is it going to take for me to fulfill my wishes? Okay? And we're going to dive deeper and be extended. Taurus, you have the star, the star. Some of you done with Aquarius. I got to cover this up. Some of you done with Aquarius. And I feel like um, maybe you're about to travel or you're hoping to heal something. Um... And with judgment, this is Scorpio's energy. Somebody could get a lot of attention here or be on social media. But this is somebody um, 
they 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 could be famous, but they get a lot of attention. Um, it's like you might have a, it's like you hoping to make a decision, okay? But there's a unique path here. There's a unique path here that's presenting some challenges, okay, in relation to some opportunity with the key and the hidden. So, Taurus, was you hoping to have a secret opportunity with someone? Was this done a secret? Could somebody be jealous of an opportunity that you had? Is someone hiding their true intentions? Was somebody being two-faced? Working on this in silence, working on this opportunity in silence, as somebody felt like um, it was two fates. And I feel like this Queen of Wands here is like, this is different from this energy. I feel like this is the stars which you pursued. But this Queen of Wands here is saying that they going to be happy regardless, but it's not going to be with you. Taurus, you have the world, the world. Some of you are done with it. Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus. This could be some travel, but it's like with the world, I feel like um, somebody's no longer giving to this. Somebody's no longer um, wanting to service this. Or maybe, you you know, there was some online communication, you know, that um, to help somebody or somebody traveled to help somebody in relation to some marriage. Okay, this don't have to be actually an actual marriage. This could be a commitment or a contract. So, maybe um, it looks like you are attracting emotional fulfillment and unconditional love, but it's closed out here with the world. It's like something stopped here. Somebody's no longer taking action. They're no longer giving to this. They don't feel good. But I feel like, Taurus, this is what you want to rebuild. I feel like you want to rebuild a marriage, a commitment, or some contract. Okay, I feel like, you know, you want to rebuild something after you lost it. Um, I feel like this is something you invested a lot of effort in. And you're ready to take action to improve this. You know, um, you're determined and you have drive. Taurus, it looks like you want a transformation or you want something to change here. But it, it looks like something has to end in order for you to begin something new. So, Taurus, in the extended, I'm going to dive deeper into these energies. We're going to get very specific. Taurus, 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 this has been the edition of Sexy Hairs of Scoop. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit the, hit the notification bell, Taurus, if you would like to be notified the next time I go live and upload a video. Peace, Taurus, and I do love you.